Today, I'm gonna show you guys what 100 US dollars gets in Rome, Italy. That was like Italian heaven. Look at how beautiful this is. I feel like I'm gonna finish this and we're gonna have to run this back one more time. So this is my fifth time back here to Rome and I am still more excited than ever. Rome is one of my favorite cities in the world since they have some of the best food as well as there's so much history. The ancient Romans built so much here thousands of years ago where a lot of it is still withstanding. And another thing I feel like people don't really know about Italy is that there's cities here where it's actually quite affordable and your money does go quite far. And I believe this is the first time while doing this series where one USD gets us one Euro. So it's gonna be very easy when doing the conversions. And also we did just land this morning here in Italy from New York City on a red eye, so I think first up, we're gonna need some coffee. Now I would say the best way to get around Rome is from renting a red Vespa, but those do cost up to around $50 per day. So we went with just getting a line, which should just be a couple euro to rent to get across town. But this uh, makes for a great way to see Rome. Six dollars for a two mile ride that was about 20 minutes. Not bad. If you guys are looking for some good Italian coffee here in Rome, I highly recommend this place right here called Lant Estachio. I came here a bunch last year and coming back now just brought back so many memories and all those delicious taste bud memories. And something good to note about coffee culture here in Italy is that you usually drink it at a bar like how you would drink an alcoholic beverage back in America. As well as the prices for coffee are also much more affordable where an espresso typically costs around one euro and I just got a grande cappuccino which was about three euro. Super delicious too. So back in New York City we have Mulberry Street which is our little Italy. But here in Rome there's so many of these streets with so many amazing pizza and pasta places. And it honestly makes you feel like you're inside of an amusement park. Like, look at how beautiful this is. Just every block looks like a movie set. So here in Rome, you are able to get a huge pie for only $9. This thing looks absolutely delicious. Cooked just right. The crust, the sauce, the cheese. So excited to dig in on this thing. This is our first meal of the day too, so we haven't really eaten since we were back in New York. So this is just gonna make up for all of that and the reason why we came here to Italy. Mm, wow. So worth coming all the way from New York just for this. But for nine bucks, this is so much delicious pizza. I know we're starving because we haven't eaten in like 16 hours, but this just tastes extra delicious. Wow. Another place that you guys must check out here in Rome is this right here, the Pantheon. The Pantheon was built over 2,000 years ago and is one of the most well-preserved Roman structures. And after you do check this place out, I highly recommend going a couple blocks away to, Chris, what was the place you just took us to? Oh my goodness, I don't even think I could pronounce it, so I'm just gonna like drop it down here. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't pronounce it, so I was trying to get you to do it, so. <laughs> but essentially, it's been labeled as the second Sistine Chapel. It really is like that magnificent of these amazing murals that are painted on the ceilings of this chapel. And what's really cool that makes the experience even better is they have this massive magnification mirror that you can look at. So instead of having to like crack your neck looking up at the murals and whatnot, you can just look straight down at the mirror and get the same experience. It's really cool. You know, since the Contis are from here in Italy, I'd like to think that my great, 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 great grandfather, potentially, maybe, built this thing. And I thought my pre-war New York City apartment was old. This is crazy to be inside something that was built 2,000 years ago. Now after all that sightseeing, it was time to check into our hostel, which is definitely going to be our biggest expense. However, I was pleasantly surprised with what we were able to find. So I would say for it being the peak travel season here in Rome at the end of October into September, 
this is a, a pretty good deal for $34. Beds are nice and clean. We got comfy mattresses, some good fresh pillows. Got some sheets over here. Also even have a locker to put your suitcase in. Also a desk to get some work in. So Chris, content I, station. We, yeah, this is our content, our content station. station. Editing all the videos here. <laughs> but this is pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it's not too bad. Especially where like, I, I was looking at prices and you would see some that were like $80 a night, like absolutely ridiculous. So mm -hmm. location wise, like being close to the train station and some attractions here, it's pretty good. And the other thing about this hostel is that they have a rooftop bar as well as a bar in the basement that is open until really late. So should be a, a fun rest of our evening here in Rome. Mm -hmm. So I did just want to quickly pause this video and say how that shot and a lot of the shots that you see throughout this video, I didn't personally shoot, but I am allowed to use royalty free in these YouTube videos, all thanks to Storyblocks, which is also the sponsor of this video. Storyblocks has saved me a countless amount of times. Since, for example, with this video, I get back home to New York and while I'm editing, I realize I wish I had better B-roll shots to tell a better story. But with their affordable and flexible subscription plans, I can head over to Storyblocks and type in Italy, monkeys, pizza, pretty much anything and find all the B-roll shots that I need royalty free. And they just recently launched a Premiere Pro plugin. So now all you have to do is go to Window, Extensions, Storyblocks, and then you have their colossal amount of stock videos all ready in Premiere Pro. Just makes it way more efficient. So go to storyblocks.com slash Brett Conti or click the link in the description down below and check out Storyblocks for yourself. Now, back to Italy. Now for our first dinner here in Rome, we are heading over the bridge into Trastevere. And a lot of my friends who are locals here all recommend going to Trastevere for dinner since it's the most affordable and has some of the best food options in all of Rome. So the mission is to find some pasta. Pizza and pasta, that's what, that's what you do here in Rome. Now another thing about Trastevere, besides it having some of the most delicious food, is that when you're walking around, it honestly feels fake like you're in an amusement park. There's all these beautiful vines growing from everywhere, there's graffiti, all the buildings just look so aesthetically pleasing. So super cool just walking around seeing all these outdoor restaurants. But now time for us to find one for ourselves. So we just made it here to Cosi Nico, where we're able to get a pasta. I went with the cacio e pepe, Chris went with the carbonara, and also a glass of wine, all for 15 bucks. And we have not eaten an hour, so let's dig in. And what's so cool about this place is we probably scored the best atmosphere in this entire area, as well as the food is absolutely delicious, where it even comes in this chef's pan and you have a huge, huge <laughs> amount of pasta. Really can't beat that. This is the dream. I gotta come to Rome more often. Also, one more note. We did come here for American dinner hours at 7.30, but now that it's getting later, there is a massive line around the block to eat here and pretty much every other spot. So, recommendation, if you don't have a reservation, come at uh, the earliest hours you can. Dinner was superb, but now, we need the, the Roman trifecta. We got the pizza, we got the pasta, but now we need the gelato. So we're gonna try and find someone who knows this neighborhood to give us the best gelato recommendation. <music> trifecta is complete. We got our gelato right here. I want the stracciatella, also got a hazelnut, something else called a guanduja. I don't know what it is, but it is absolutely delicious. And these three scoops, even in this main part of town, was only three euro and 50 cents. So we still got plenty of money to survive us tomorrow. But for now, let's head back to the hostel and see what else we get into for the night. I feel like I'm gonna finish this and we're gonna have to run this back one more time. <laughs> There's, there's budget for it. <laughs> we got some room in the budget. <laughs> <laughs> We're allocating at least 20 euro just for gelato. So now that we are all showered and changed, we're about to go check out the rooftop bar. Sounds pretty loud. Excited to see what this is all about. <laughs> so we went with some Aperol Spritz. They're five bucks each, Chris. Cheers. So Roma. Roma. When in Rome, an Aperol Spritz. All right, so we met some new friends. Vancouver From Canada. Island. Can Vancouver Island, baby. Isn't that in Canada? What? Isn't that in Canada? 
Yeah, I know. But, but you're like, more prideful of Vancouver. Yeah, Vancouver will be seen. All right, well, cheers, cheers to cheers, Vancouver brother. Island. Okay. We migrated from the rooftop down to the bar down here. Actually, really nice. You ready to uh, start the day now? Let's do this. <laughs> so after our first full day with no sleep, and then last night, we are now left with $19.50 for today. We are right next to the Trevi Fountain, and this place is a must-see. Like, look at how delicious this pistachio croissant is. As well as this was only $3, and then a cappuccino was four. So to be somewhere so central, right next to one of the main tourist attractions, this is a pretty good deal. Especially when in New York City, and latte would be $7 alone. So let's dig right into this thing and get this coffee because I'm exhausted and starving. Oh, smells like Italian heaven. Come on, guys. That's the thing about being here in Italy too, where typically when you're traveling to other countries, you'll still see other countries foods but here in Italy it's just all their own because they know that they do it so well right, let's get that first bite mm, yeah this is just paradise for my taste buds we're gonna need to run this one back <laughs> right when this challenge is done I'm coming back here so now after you get your croissants you definitely have to come here to the Trevi fountain take a coin and spend 50 cents very wisely by making a wish Hope we hit a million subscribers. Guys, you can help out by hitting that subscribe button right now. Let's make this wish come true. 50 cents well spent. <laughs> now something a lot of people don't know is if you're here at the Trevi Fountain and then come all the way to the right side of it, there is this fountain here called the Lover's Fountain. And if you drink from this, you're supposedly falling in love with that person for life. So Chris, don't tell my girlfriend this, but I think we got a drink out of that water, bro. We've been working together for four years, now for eternity. You gonna do me like that? No, I can never, oh, come on, I can never, I can never. Friends for life. Best friends. <laughs> Let's go, same time, baby. Ready? Yep. That was the most romantic thing we've ever done. Hey, I really like your outfit today, man. <laughs> so back in 2018, I was randomly on a boat in New York City and met a girl named Gabriella from Italy. And now four years later, we are back in Rome. Hi guys, that's me, I'm Gabriella from Italy. Gabriella, so where are you taking us right now? Cause you know all the hacks, you live here in Rome <laughs> and you're about to show us where to get a cheap bottle of wine. Yeah, I mean, it's basically my daily occurrence is, you know, figure out what to eat and what to drink. So let's just go to the supermarket, I guess. Amazing, so she's saying that we can get a one yeah. euro 99 cent bottle of wine. Yeah, or anything close to that. You can get a euro bottle of wine, you can get a 350, 350 is usually the good range. Drinkable, bring it to bring it to dinner, bring it to lunch, um, bring it to a picnic, and you won't be, you won't be embarrassed and it's not wow. like a good wine. Alright, we're gonna have to go see this for ourselves. Yeah. Let's get some some good Italian vino. wine. Some Woo! good Italian vino. Gabriella, is this what I think it is? <laughs> it quite literally is what it is. And I have to tell you, so my boyfriend, I convinced him to buy this for me once because I wanted to try it. And I have to say, it's actually good quality pasta and it's delicious. And it's very cute for Instagram, so, you know. My mind's blown right now. <laughs> Wait, I don't know if they can even Wait, tell what this there's is. More. There's, there's more? more. Um, this is penis pasta. We might have to blur this out for YouTube. <laughs> this might not. <laughs> the place it's so affordable or at least it feels like we get robbed in America actually that's what it feels like but which one should we go with I feel like you can't go wrong here honestly you can't go wrong because it's just a matter of trial and error and I've gotta say I've tried my, <laughs> I've, tried my I've tried my bottles maybe something it's, refreshing it's a hot day definitely white I'm not drinking red wine right now this is only 10% oh. 
only 10%. Trying to get his drunk for the vlog. <laughs> $1.39. This one's on me, guys. We got budget. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Brett. Woo! So we secured the wine, but we realized we don't have cups. What are we gonna do about cups? We need like 50. So Gabriele over here is gonna make me go into a bar and ask an Italian for, for three cups for us. So, yeah. how, how do you say this? Simple, easy. Posso avere? Posso avere? Tre. Tre. Uno, due, tre. Tre. Tre bicchieri. Bicchieri. Di plastica. Di plastica. Per favore. Per favore. Posso avere tre bicchieri di plastica, per favore? Oh, you got this, you got this, Brett, right. you got this. I'm Italian, my. Doing it for your Gennaro blood, Conti. Your blood is boiling. Posso avere dei bicchieri di plastica, per favore. Bellissimo. I got this. Bella. Give me Bella, this thing. bro. Bella. I'm getting these cups. Wish me luck, guys. Confidence is high. I'm nervous because I, I want to go check on him because I don't think they're going to understand what you're <laughs> You don't have faith in him? I mean, I have faith in the humanity of people of Brett, but... You just gotta go. Uh, bicchiere uh, di plastico, uh, por favore? Si. Si? Oh, 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 she's nodding. I'm an amazing teacher. <laughs> Grazie mille. <Yeah. laughs> Did it. Bravo. <laughs> Bravo. First try. Now what it was, my great grandfather, Gennaro Conti. Did it for him. I didn't want him to roll over in his grave and disappoint. <laughs> All right, now that we're a little buzzed for a dollar thirty and have ten dollars left, Gabby, where where are you taking us now for some food to balance out our alcohol? Can I be completely honest? I've never known the place, the actual name of this place, right? But it's our standard go-to when everything is closed and you're hungry and you want to get some good pizza. Go this to this place it. with no name. All right, no, we're gonna have to right, find the place. place with no name. La Boccaccia. La Boccaccia, which is the Big Mouth. The Big Mouth makes sense. Let's try out the Big Mouth. Pretty. So is this pizza? It's pizza. Pizza, okay. It's a pizza tranquilla. What is your favorite one? She was eating right there, <laughs> the back, the, the calzone. Oh, a calzone. This is interesting. So, you know how back in America, when you get a slice of pizza, you sometimes get skimped when you get the smaller slice, but still pay the same amount as if you were to get a bigger one. Well, here, they weigh the slice and you pay however much it weighs. I like this idea. So yesterday we got a huge pie of pizza for $9, but today we came to a place where you can get more of it as a slice. So this right here, I guess I would call it equivalent to two American slices. This was only $5. So not bad for still getting a traditional Italian pizza and not hurting your wallet. One appetito. No more I'm say cheers. Cheers? Cheers. 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 I know that one. <laughs> mm -hmm. So with our last five dollars, we came here to Alisa, got an espresso and a gelato for five bucks. This looks so good. I went with the tiramisu. That is too good. I couldn't ask for a better way to end this challenge than with gelato and some cafe. They say it, a gelato a day keeps the subscribers coming your way. Amen to that. <laughs> After spending 24 hours in Rome with just $100, I was amazed with how far it could go. With all the amazing sights you can see for free and the insane quality of true Italian food. Traveling to Rome can definitely be done on a budget. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below where I should take this $100 challenge to next. See you next week.